There's been soft fruit and tomatoes grown in the Clyde Valley for about the last 120 years. As I say, its proximity to Glasgow made it an ideal situation. It has a certain amount of microclimate in the valley which allows the cultivation of soft fruits. When my grandfather was involved, he would start, I reckon, growing soft fruit about 1910. We moved into tomato growing about 1953 and we have been on this site at Briar Nuke eh, for the last 20 years. The tomato growing industry in the Clyde Valley has declined. Over the last few years we have diversified, mainly to, to meet a changing market, to supply more local shops and uh, local outlets, garden centres, uh, delicatessens and that type of thing. The tomatoes are grown in greenhouses in Scotland, they have to be protected from the elements. This greenhouse is, is 6,000 square metres, or an acre and a half, it's about the size of a football field. It's a controlled environment where they've got all the requirements through uh, an irrigation system and we also control the temperature and the humidity uh, to get a successful crop. These plants were planted in mid-January, uh, that allows us to start cropping about the middle of April and we crop right through to into November. We use bees to pollinate the crop. The bees come from a company in Belgium uh, and we get uh, new hives uh, every week. Well, we use other biological control, mainly for red spider. The biological control we, we use is it helps to keep the crop pesticide free uh, and there's no harm to uh, the consumer. The round tomato is a traditional tomato for the west of Scotland. We change varieties about every two or three years. This one uh, is, is Covano. We've grown this now for about the last three years. Uh, we'll have it another year or two yet. Uh, it's good shape, good quality, good shelf life, and that's what we like. The round tomato now makes up about 50% of our crop, 50% of production. And we grow, I would think, on average of maybe about 60 or 70 tonnes of round fruit, uh, and then the rest is made up of you know, various varieties as you see here. This variety is, is very popular with farm shops and, and delicatessens. Usually five or six fruits to the vine. It, it, I think it reminds people of Italian plum tomatoes. Our varieties now, um, we grow red and yellow cherries, mini plum. We do another plum one, which is a bit sharper flavoured. We do round tomatoes on the vine. We do the small cocktail. Uh, tomatoes there on the vine as well. We, we try to give the customer what they want. I prefer to come and buy them here because uh, they're much fresher than what they are out of the supermarkets, I feel. They're uh, just picked. You can get them green and uh, all right within a few days in the house. They're really good. I really enjoy the tomatoes. Our customers like the fact that they are, they're getting them so fresh. Um, and is it well in this day and age also they haven't done any air miles? You know, the small things that gets picked, they get picked straight into punnets, uh, you know, straight from the plant into the punnet, and all we've got to do is weigh it. And it's less handling, less damage to the fruit. And we sell a lot of tomatoes at farmers markets, as I say. A lot are sold on the ability for the people to try them. People get tasting all the different types. At the farmers markets especially, our customers are very good and they bring the packaging back to us, which we can reuse. My, myself and my wife, we uh, were in the nursery along with one full-time member of staff and during the harvest period we used students and uh, about three or four students uh, to pull and pack or harvest and pack the, the fruit. We do a lot of local uh, garden centres here also. Uh, people that we've dealt with for years. It reduces food miles to sell them locally. I mean, there is no doubt that uh, to the product's fresher, suits the consumer. That's the, the main advantages, I think, of supplying the local shops. Well, we stock uh, local produce in the farm shop here, uh, particularly Scottish tomatoes here, the supply from Craig's. We've been stocking them now, now for about 15 years. Craig's tomatoes start now about April, May time of the year. For about five weeks prior to that, people are always going saying, is the tomatoes ready yet? Are the tomatoes ready yet? And as soon as the tomatoes are ready, um, we find that our customers uh, come in maybe twice or three times a week. It's a great thing to get customers into the shop. After the Craig's tomatoes is finished, we could buy farm tomatoes, but we just wouldn't sell them. And you know, the, the, the farm shop just wouldn't, uh, wouldn't sell the volume of tomatoes that we do sell you know, from Craig's. We were approached regarding the guide to food and drink in the Clyde Valley, and we're hoping that that will uh, encourage local retailers, hotels, even the general public, in fact, to uh, be interested in what produce is available locally. We will also hope that it encourages things further afield, but uh, the main thing is, is to try and stimulate uh, interest locally.